Hello my wonderful friends, Magus with you on a beautiful day in Asha and today's message is the spell breaker and my friends by the end of this short message someone's going to get set free today. You're going to be released into your destiny. You're going to be set free. The chains are going to break. Maybe addiction, anger issues, maybe poor self-esteem, anxiety. My friends, healing is coming. And we're going to read two powerful deliverance prayers. One uh, from the Christian religion, uh, which, uh, I mean, it's one of the most powerful prayers I've ever come across. And uh, just to give you a little t taste of it, it says, I break and dissolve any and all curses, hexes, evil spells, snares, traps, lies, obstacles, deceptions, diversions, evil spirit influences, evil wishes, evil desires, and it goes on. And it's a, it's a spell to break you free from that, my friends. There's two energies in the world. There's good and there's evil. There, there's the true word and there's the false word. And Jesus was known as the word, as the truth. And I love the story uh, in Luke 13. And Jesus goes into the synagogue on the Sabbath and all the religious people are watching him because they knew he was a healer. And you're not supposed to do any work on the Sabbath. And there was a woman there and she was hunched over and they were going to see, will he break Sabbath and heal her? And he said to them, should not this woman who has been bound by Satan for 18 years be well. And my friends, then Jesus touched her and she was made well. Jesus, the truth, touched her. The word trust touched her. And, and when the truth comes, the lie disappears, right? When the light comes, the darkness is gone. When health comes, sickness and disease disappears. And that's what we're going to do today. It, it, it could be something as simple it is a uh, a spell that was spoken over you as a child, a false word telling you you're not good enough or this is just how it is and it's become your truth. It, I, I found an interesting story one time about how elephants are trained and, and they'll take a baby elephant and they'll put a chain around its leg and, and a post and, and it'll know after a short amount of time that it, it can't go further than that chain. Then when it's a full grown elephant, and it could easily snap that little chain. It won't because its mind has been conditioned that that's just how life is. And my friends, I'll tell you what, they do that to people in the matrix. There's something called the theta state. From zero to seven years old, a child is in the theta state and everything you put into them becomes their truth. If a parent's yelling at them and telling them they're no good, it, it becomes their truth. If a parent's speaking truth and word into them, uh, that they're blessed in all that they do, that, that they're a blessing to have around, that, that they're good, my friends, that becomes their truth. Maybe lie, false word, spells, evil spells have been spoken over you. My friends, those are going to be broken today. And I'm so excited to share with you. Uh, of course, we're going to read from Asha. But this book here, I don't know if we've talked about it. It's called Beauty for Ashes. And my friends, it's got the prayer of deliverance, the Christian prayer, and then it's got a healing prayer from the Magi. And we don't have a lot of text left from the Magi because they're all destroyed. And that's in here. Uh, the Hymn of the Pearl is in this. I mean, it's an amazing book. And I don't know why we haven't spoke more about it, but it's Beauty for Ashes by Winston Head. Uh, if you do order it, please uh, read it and, and leave a review, my friends. Uh, I got excited when I came across this today, but we're going to read the healing spells out of that. I want to touch on Asha 8 real quick because this is so important. It says, on a subconscious level, I live in truth. So the subconscious level, it, it, it's, you know, we have a 10% conscious mind they talk about. And then that subconscious level that we're, um, we do most of our living out of there, just out of habit. The things that, like we said, that become our truth from when we were a child, we just naturally live out of that now. Uh, and some of it's good and some of it's bad. And sometimes we need to shine that light in our hearts and see what's holding us back. Where have we been bound? And then we're going to break those chains today. It says, on a subconscious level, I live in truth. And the lie of discord disappears. The spell of separation 
is broken. In truth, all is good. All is God. So that spell of separation is broken. The spell of separation uh, that you're separated from your good, your God, from love, that you're separated from success, that you're separated from being set free from an addiction or, or anger issues or whatever it is, my friends, you can set yourself free today, my friends. And the spell breaker is Asha. It's truth. It's Jesus. It's that word, right? When the woman touched Jesus or Jesus touched someone, uh, they became healed because Jesus is the truth, the, the word. And, and, and what is the word, my friends? It, it's Asha, perfect creator's perfect idea. Should not this woman who has been bound by Satan be released from her sickness? Why? Because she's a child of God. She's a child of the king. She shouldn't be bound by evil, my friends. And that's our reason. We shouldn't be bound because we're, we're children of the King. A perfect creator had a perfect idea of us in this world. And, and we can come back into alignment with that. I've talked about this before. I love it. But one of the first spells ever written down, good spells, uh, I'm going to read it to you because it's so important. It says, incantation, oath, insurmountable, circle of oath, insurmountable, divine circle of oath, heaven and earth, unaltered circle by oath. God is one and cannot be changed. God and man shall not be divided. My friends, God and man, good and man, success and man, uh, Asha and man cannot and shall not be divided. And my friends, that's what we're going to do today. I want you, before we go into this, before I read these powerful uh, deliverance prayers, I want you to look inside what is holding you back. What little chain that you could snap like that now is holding you back? What's been spoken over you? What lie? Is it that you can't get well? Is it that maybe uh, some sickness is, is down through your family line and in your genes and you can't break free? My friends, those are false words. Those are lies. You're a child of the King. You're meant to walk in divine health and divine life. Is it that you can't break an addiction or that you're not good enough? Or what is that lie that's in your subconscious mind that you, you don't even really think about it throughout the day? It's just become so natural to you. I want you to think about that for a moment. What is it? And let's get rid of that today. And my friends, when that chain is broken, you're going to see you're released and you'll actually be able to run towards your goals, my friends. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what, good God will chase you down. You won't have to do much because you're going to be in resonance now and things vibrating right at the same frequency combine easily, my friends. So I want to start with a Christian deliverance prayer. It says... Lord Jesus, I place myself at your feet, and I ask you to cover me with your precious love, which pours forth from your most sacred heart. Cleanse me, my Jesus, in the living water that flows from you. I ask you to surround me, Lord Jesus, with your holy light. Heavenly Father, I pray you would go back through the generations and purify my family line from sin and Satan. I ask you to forgive us, and cleanse us with the life of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I reclaim any territory that was handed over to Satan and place it under the Lordship of Jesus. In the holy name of Jesus, I give myself, children, home, land, and animals to be protected and covered with the precious life of Jesus. In the holy name of Jesus, I break and dissolve any and all curses, hexes, evil spells, snares, traps, lies, obstacles, deceptions, diversions, evil spirit influences, evil wishes, evil desires, hereditary curses, known and unknown, and every dysfunction and disease from any source, including my mistakes and sins. In Jesus' name, I sever the transmission of any and all satanic vows, pacts, evil bonds, evil ties, and satanic work. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke Satan and every evil spirit away from me. In Jesus' name, Lord Jesus, fill me with love, peace, joy, kindness, purity, tranquility, trust, truth, illuminated by your Holy Spirit, and together we will praise the Father for eternity. For you, Lord Jesus, are the way, the truth, and the life, and you have come that we might have life 
and have it more abundantly so be it. And then the healing prayer of the Magi, it says, I drive away sickness, I drive away pain and fever, I drive away disease, rottenness, and infection, which the evil spirit has brought against the bodies of mortals. I drive away all manner of disease, death, and evil spirits. May the much desired Christ come here for the men and women of God to rejoice. May the much desired Christ remove all manner of disease and death and all evil spirits. Keep us from our hater, O God. We say with the authority of alignment with the Christ mind, perish Satan, perish. Evil spirits perish away. Evil spirits be bound and cast out nevermore to give death unto the living world of God. So beautiful. And then here in a little footnote it says, you can use these prayers until you enter first circle. Then you will not need them anymore. I love that, my friends. And then, oh, I wish I could just go through this whole book. The next one, we go into the den cart, which is practical magic, my friends, and, and living in that first circle magic and protection. And, and I love this book. I mean, uh, I would suggest everyone get it. It's Beauty for Ashes by Winston Head. It's available at Amazon, my friends. And it's a good book. I know you'd love it. All right, guys. You know what? I love you. I love you. I love you. We'll see you next time.